Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the 2022 Italian uh, Design Day. The theme of this Design Day is a regeneration uh, uh, and uh, clearly uh, we will uh, discuss the theme of sustainability and how to regenerate uh, our urban environments, uh, our um, objects and tools uh, through uh, design. Um, we have organized uh, a talk uh, with uh, Professor uh, Francesco Zurlo, full professor at Politecnico di Milano and an expert uh, in uh, design and especially in industrial uh, design. Professor Zurlo is also curator of the exhibition uh, Italia Geniale Design uh, Enables, uh, originally hosted uh, at uh, Expo uh, 2020 uh, in Dubai and now uh, exhibited at the Ministry of Italian Development in Rome. Uh, so Professor Zurlo uh, has dedicated this conversation uh, to the, the objects, uh, the tools, uh, and uh, the material exhibited uh, at uh, Italia Geniale. Uh, now I welcome uh, the um, other guests uh, uh, that uh, will uh, be in talk with uh, uh, Professor Zurlo, uh, Smago Novak, editor of um, the Slovenian uh, Review of Architecture and Design Hische, and uh, Mateusz Francic uh, from uh, IDIDOMA. Uh, with us we have also the um, director of uh, the uh, Slovenian office uh, of uh, ICE, um, Agency for the Promotion and Internationalization uh, of um, Italian businesses, and uh, last but not least, uh, uh, the Ambassador of Italy to Slovenia, Carlo Campanile, uh, to whom uh, I hand over uh, to present uh, the event. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you, Stefano. I uh, wish to join you in, uh, first of all, thanking Professor Francesco Zurlo from the Polytechnic of Milan for having accepted our invitation to be the ambassador of the Italian Design Day in uh, Slovenia. Uh, Smago Novak, uh, you uh, mentioned he's uh, the director of uh, Zavod Big and editor of Isha magazine and of course, Mateusz uh, Francic for hosting us in this beautiful location full of Italian design uh, objects. Uh, Italian Design Day uh, was conceived six, six years ago by the Ministry of, uh, of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation as a tool, as effective platform to promote uh, uh, design all around the world. Uh, it is, as you all know, a, a strategic uh, sector for our exports. And it consists of a rich schedule of promotional events implemented uh, all around the world by the network of our embassies, Italian trade agencies, offices, and of course, uh, the Italian uh, cultural institutes. Um, Italian design, they, it, design, Italy tells itself through, uh, through design. I mean, uh, he enjoys a worldwide reputation uh, uh, for its design. It's a unique combination of uh, genius of uh, talented uh, architects and uh, uh, designers uh, with uh, the craftsmanship of its uh, companies. Um, as you mentioned, the topics uh, of this edition of the Italian Design Day is uh, uh, regeneration, uh, design new material for sustainable uh, development and a, a sustainable future. And I um, just want to um, uh, stress that um, this, the focus on sustainability is uh, fully shared by the Italy and Slovenia. Both our governments are paying increasing attention to sustainability 
as a key word for promoting the development in the uh, 21st century. Um, it is also a link to the uh, topic chosen by Rome in presenting its candidature to host the 2030 uh, Expo, uh, its regeneration of urban spaces, and uh, the idea behind the rationale behind that is to uh, conceive, uh, to replanning and rethinking, uh, rethinking our urban space around the individuals. So in terms of transport, uh, in terms of uh, uh, green spaces, in terms of uh, uh, cultural networks, uh, in terms of inclusiveness and uh, promotion of uh, in integration of, of diversity, different uh, components of, of the urban community. The 2022 also marks the 60th anniversary of the Salone of Milan. It's a worldwide uh, platform to promote uh, design and uh, uh, furnishing. Um, we uh, really hope that uh, a lot of professionals from, uh, from Slovenia uh, could attend this event, which is scheduled take place in Milan from 7 to uh, 12 June next. Just to uh, conclude, um, I wish to stress that the, the Italian Design Day is part of a global framework campaign entitled Italy is Extraordinary, is simply extraordinary, be it uh, as an idea to promotes a, a, a comprehensive and coherent image of Italy focused on its main values and uh, we have identified in uh, uh, passion, tradition, uh, innovation, style and diversity. I leave the floor to Professor Francesco Zurlo for his exposition and uh, thank you once again for uh, joining us in this event. Thank you so much, Ambassador, for the invitation. Thank you to my hosts for uh, inviting me to discuss about the, uh, the role of design today for regeneration. Uh, you know, design uh, is facing uh, two very, uh, let's say, big uh, phenomena. So we are in a, in a, in a peri period of transition today, you know, so because of sustainability, this is the first one, because of the uh, digital transformation and uh, design is changing uh, the way it's operating, so relating to the other disciplines, you know, thanks to these two different disciplines. And when we talk about sustainability, uh, of course, uh, uh, we need to consider uh, the, the main goal of design, how to transform draft technologies in order to improve the quality of life of people. And then sustainability uh, today is not just something related to green issues, uh, environmental issues, uh, nature, and so on. We need to consider the uh, sustainable development goals of the United Nations, you know, the 17 goals, and design uh, um, embodies this, this approach. Um, when you uh, um, face the, this approach in this way for sustainability, you put people at the center of your, your uh, every design activity. No, this is this is very important. This is one of the peculiarity of design. So um, we we did our research about uh, the, the the possibility to put the, the, the people at the center of every design activity um, just a couple of years ago, starting with a solicitation coming from uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the the, the Ministry of uh, economical development uh, to design an exhibit for the pavilion, uh, Italian pavilion in, in Dubai, uh, in, in occasion of Expo 2020, um, to understand uh, the importance of putting the people at the center of every design activity, to start from the people in order to uh, create, uh, uh, you know, a, a story, a narrative about uh, the genius of Italian design. The, the, the exhibit uh, uh, was called uh, Italian Geniale, Italia Geniale, so we can translate uh, the genius of Italy, and with a subtitle, that's the, the, uh, the, the title of the uh, intervention of today, so the idea of design as a way to enable people uh, to express their talents, their capabilities, their skills. 
Um, this is a different from some other, other approaches coming from uh, international uh, arenas re related to design. Uh, you know, um, in, 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 our, in our world, we, we um, um, hear about this idea of user-centered design. So when you design a new product, when you design a new service, you need to start from the real needs of users in the real context of life. So then you can use different tools, different methodologies. Uh, we mediated uh, and mediate technolo uh, technologies, uh, social technologies or uh, specific methodologies uh, from, from social sciences in order to observe people, not to, to understand uh, which are the gaps in using products, no? uh, which is the customer sacrifice when they relate it to uh, different kind of services, let's say, you know, so observing people, observing the hidden needs of people and so on. And this is a, uh, an approach coming from the Anglo-Saxon world. Maybe you heard about the idea of design thinking. No? So design thinking is becoming today uh, a mantra for companies and for uh, uh, industries uh, um, because this is the latest, uh, let's say, technological tool for innovation. Uh, you know, uh, dealing with some other uh, methodologies, uh, think about the lean thinking, the lean processes, uh, the total quality and so on. Today, you have this idea of design thinking. Design thinking was codified in the United States. Um, and the idea was to start uh, from outside the company, observing people in the real context of life and then taking inspiration from this observation. But, you know, this is... Um, let's say, a limited way no, to, to, to understand the, 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 the needs of people. Why? Because it's just related to the functions, to the use of products and services. You know? so, and the interpretation coming from the Anglo-Saxon world that different from our approach as Italians, uh, uh, European, let's say, is that the, 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 the people, uh, the users, are not just organic containers of needs. No, are not just these, these organic containers. No? So they suffer, they love, they relate, no? they have deep feelings, they have dreams. So we need to consider even this side. No? So our idea uh, with my colleague, the curator, uh, with me, uh, Carlo Martino, in, in, in this exhibit was to define a different idea, no more just focusing on the users, but you know, stressing the idea of Personas, persons. Persona is a very interesting word. You know? So uh, if you think in the uh, ancient Greek uh, theater, uh, every actor uh, wore uh, a mask, and this mask uh, was called persona. So it's related to our intim uh, intimate character, you know? so what we are. And there is also a very interesting theory that we uh, refer to for this, uh, for this exhibit, uh, coming from a, a Nobel Prize, an economist, uh, Amartya Sen, an Indian economist. Uh, he um, created this, this theory about uh, capabilities and a different way to um, uh, understand the human flourishing, not just related to the uh, gross national profit, but, you know, considering the well-being of people. And for Amartya Sen, the well-being of people is related to the uh, possibilities for uh, humans to express their capabilities. Uh, you know, uh, you have a lot of different interpretations of capability skills, uh, abilities, uh, uh, competences, and so on. We, we are born with some talents, but the environment uh, could change could uh, add new talents, new capabilities for everyone. So we need to consider not just the individual, uh, let's say, characteristics, uh, right? but even how the environment provide you, provides you some, um, the, the possibility to express these capabilities. Design has a very important role in this. No? So when we design new products, new services, you know, these, these products and services, uh, in a way, try to provide you the possibility to express fully express your 
talents, your capabilities. So we use this, this approach. Then we refer even to a pupil of uh, uh, Amartya Sen, Martha Nussbaum, and uh, she did a very interesting research about the uh, equality in gender, you know, so stressing the, the importance of uh, women, you know, how to make women able to operate in, in the uh, modern and Western society, defining a, a set of core capabilities that you need to uh, respect and to guarantee to, the, to people. You know? And you have a, in this set of capabilities an inspiration for us. You know? So that, that were the, the inspiration for uh, deciding you know, the, the, the way uh, we uh, curate the, the, the exhibit. And you have a lot of very interesting capabilities. For instance, uh, the, 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 the capabilities to uh, relate to other people, uh, the idea of association, socialization with other people, the capability to, um, um, you know, have chances for your education, accessing the possibility to, 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 to educate yourself, the possibility to play, you know, the right to play. That's very important for designers, you know, so and with a lot of uh, products uh, are funny products, you know, so that they, they go beyond the, 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 the features, you know, the performances of the products. Um, and then uh, the possibility to respect others, to relate to others, you know, the other people are very important in the theory of capabilities. Uh, the respect for other species, you know, as a way to, to create, uh, let's say, in the description of uh, Amartya Sen and Marta Nussbaum, full personas. You know? And so the idea uh, of um, exercise your imagination, you know? the right for imagination. You know, that's, that's something very important. You know? uh, to, uh, we are, uh, yesterday we, we had a lesson um, and so the idea is that humans are uh, storytelling animals. So the, the way we can differentiate ourselves from the other animals is because we, we can tell stories. Mm -hmm. And stories are very important because they, they uh, you know, create a sense of belonging. Uh, they make sense about the chaos that usually we live, you know? so make order about this chaos. And uh, they, they permit us to relate to other people. No? So imagination is a very important ingredient when you want to tell stories, when you want to make stories able to uh, create a, a relationship with other people and so on. So uh, our idea was to, to understand this approach and let's say to think about this idea of regeneration, uh, stress in these capabilities and understanding how uh, the products that we selected uh, were able you know, to, to, to make people uh, um, fully, fully personas, you know, so following this, this theory. Of course, uh, you need to simplify the, these theories, you know, so, and we try to, to uh, find some uh, uh, full proof uh, categories. You know, so, uh, in order to, to make a really, um, let's say, um, immediate in the, in the, in the uh, uh, transferring our idea about, about this idea of persona-centered design. So leaving the idea of user-centered and uh, adopting this idea of persona-centered design. So we defined uh, a set of five uh, abilities or capabilities. No? So the first one is uh, imaginable, and these are all the products uh, and services uh, that uh, they uh, permit us to imagine, you know, to play, you know, to, to, to have feelings, to have fun. Another capability is relationable. Uh, there are you know, products that, uh, in a way, they are trigger of relationship. This so far, you know, our trigger of relationship. Something related to, to food, the consumption of food, you know, they are trigger of relationships, so understand it, no? this, this is very, very, very important. Liveable, liveable is when you take care of yourself, when you take care of the other people, when you take care 
uh, about the environment and so on. Movable, uh, we need to move. This is uh, one of the characteristics of human beings, but in a safe mode, let's say, with security, you know? So, um, and the, the possibility to permit to everyone, so this is related to the idea of usability, you know? so the, the access you know, for, for everyone, you not know, to move from the point A to the point, point B and so on, you not know, to, to, to meet other people and so on. And the last one is workable. The ability to work, to express your talents in the right way, in a comfortable way and so on. So we selected 99 uh, products for the catalogue and for the exhibit 66 uh, uh, products because of the, uh, the limits of the, of the uh, exhibit itself in the Italian pavilion. Then we replied in the, uh, in the f fantastic hall of Palazzo Piacentini in Rome. Uh, designed by Marcello Piacentini, a very important architect, a Roman architect, uh, in 1932. Uh, and so we, we uh, reorganized the, the exhibit there, and uh, uh, it, it's, uh, it's very, very interesting. So um, I, I have some, some references, some projects to discuss with you uh, about the, the, this idea, so how to make concrete you know, these different capabilities. You know? So just starting from, uh, you have this in, in your presentation, so you can see, you, you can follow me. Uh, seeing your presentation. Um, th this is a, a very interesting chair. This is Ghost by Cini Boeri. No? Mm -hmm. Cini Boeri, uh, a woman. So we have just few women in the uh, world of architecture and design. No? So very famous women like Gaia Olenti, Cini Boeri and so on. And this is very interesting because it's uh, something surprising. No? So, and this is related to imagination, the possibility to bend um, a sheet of glass, uh, but you know, uh, following a kind of uh, you know origami, uh, you know, and to 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 create a very comfortable uh, seat, a very resistant seat, you know. And this is also because um, you know, design is always a dialogue uh, with other actors, and specifically with technicians, with entrepreneurs, because in this case. Um, Vittorio Livi was the entrepreneur, um, in a way, welcoming the idea of Cini Boeri, um, did many uh, prototypes, many, uh, a lot of experimentation uh, before finding the, 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 final, the final shape of this, uh, this, uh, of this um, uh, arm chain. We, we have this um, uh, interesting um, uh, kettle uh, for tea, designed by Aldo Rossi. Aldo Rossi is one of the master of Italian design uh, and architecture. He's more uh, you know, famous as an architect, uh, but he designed this, this uh, kettle for um, Alessi, uh, another very important company, uh, invited by um, Alessandro Mendini, another very important uh, uh, architect and designer he was the uh, art director of Alessi, and uh, he invited a uh, few architects and designers uh, for an hypothetical idea of tea and coffee plaza, with the possibility to reproduce uh, uh, small architectures you know, with, this, uh, uh, with these products. You know? so, and this is uh, you know, evocative of something different, no? and uh, it, this kettle created, creates a kind of uh, domestic landscape you know, on your coffee table book in this case, you know? so, and uh, playfulness, you know? the possibility to, to invite you to think about uh, the, the, the possibilities of the objects. You know? Then, uh, this is a very interesting product uh, designed by Bruno Munari. Bruno Munari, it's quite dif difficult to say, uh, finding the, 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 the right, uh, let's say, title for this person, so an artist, a designer, a writer, an inventor, and so on. And this is very interesting because it's uh, the first uh, a toy using polyurethane, collaborating with Pirelli. We are in the early 50s. And uh, the idea is to, to create uh, a kind of wired skeleton 
putting the polyurethane uh, uh, around this skeleton with the possibility to move uh, this, uh, this monkey no, in, in, in different positions. That's, that's very interesting, even, even from a pedagogical point of view, because, you know, uh, toys have to be um, unsaturated, so inviting uh, children to be interpreted. No, so not just telling a very clear story, but inviting you to tell stories. So the possibility to move, to, to change the, the disposition of the, of the uh, tail of the legs and so on. And this, is a, this is a very interesting. So mm, play, playfulness is very important for, uh, for uh, imagination. Um, a chair by Driade, designed by Fabio Novembre, uh, not a very, very icon, iconic chair. Um, it's like uh, an archaeological fragment, so, you know, with this space that becomes uh, uh, a kind of domestic pole when you put this, this pole within the, the environment. Uh, or, uh, you know, um, imagination is also when you interpret in a different way something that could be perceived as uh, negative. Um, we, we selected uh, um, uh, an interesting fiber um, for, uh, for a fabric, uh, for um, textile, made by uh, orange pulp, by the rest of orange pulp, uh, coming from Sicily. So, uh, from Palermo specifically. And this is very interesting because we need to apply imagination for what we call circular economy. No? So, what if we take this, uh, this, uh, this pulp coming from the, uh, the transformation of oranges and we transform this pulp in something different? No? So, in, in this case, in a kind of fiber, good, similar to silk. No, to, 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 to make uh, interesting, um, interesting uh, solutions. No? So they worked with Ferragamo, no? designing some interesting um, um, clothes no? for, for Ferragamo. Relationable, living in harmony with others. We have a, a TV designed by Marco Zanuso here. Uh, we, we can see this, this TV there. And this is very interesting because it's like a dog, <laughs> no? A dog observing the, uh, the owner, no? And so that, that, that's a way of creating relationship with the objects, no? And so it was um, designed to, for, for putting the TV set uh, uh, on the floor, no? So to observe from this, uh, this uh, a sofa like this, no? So, this is a way not to relate with the, uh, with the, with the objects and so to, to create relationship. A very important uh, um, tool for, uh, for relationship is the uh, espresso bialetti. The, in this case, you have a very interesting story because you take uh, the uh, uh, bialetti took inspiration for this uh, uh, coffee, uh, coffee machine, um, observing the, um, the, the laundries, the old laundries in, in twenties, no? in, in, in twenties of the last century, you had these laundries called Lichivers. Lichivers was a kind of detergent and they, they uh, had a, a tube and a boiling uh, water uh, with the possibility to, to uh, boil the water and passing through this tube and then uh, transforming the, the lishi, in, in the detergent in something operable you know, for, for the clothes. So, and he copied this, this mechanism for, for, for this coffee, coffee machine. And so inventing espresso at home, 
Um, and this is a symbol of conviviality. You know? So when we want to st uh, start a conversation uh, with, uh, with other people, uh, so we, we offer a coffee. This is the, the best way to start the conversation. Yeah, I'm from Naples, so that's, that's my cultural tradition. And that's yes, usual. Yes. And you know you have the but best... Slovenia too. <laughs> the best yeah, ever, the best ever, ever uh, that's water no? to make a coffee yeah. in it, Naples. It because it depends on no? the quality of water. They so say I, that, yeah. The way. And, and this is the, the same conviviality, but in the international space uh, station. Okay. Um, that was a, a coffee machine uh, in uh, gravity zero. Uh, so uh, it, it was, uh, you know, sent to the uh, ISS in 2015 uh, with Samantha Cristoforetti. And, uh, you know, they did a research no, about this, uh, this, uh, this new coffee machine because you need to guarantee, you know, the, the resistance, the performances and so on. They changed it. You know? so, you can drink the coffee not in a traditional coffee cup, but in this kind of uh, small packages you know, where, where you uh, push the where you push the coffee. You know? So and evolution of conviviality. So we put this. This is a fantastic uh, uh, bottle you know, designed by Fortunato De Pero, uh, one of the most important uh, uh, artists of the futurism in 1932. And uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, a cup of glass upside down, no? so, but with different uh, shape, you know. And uh, it, it's, it, it was a success, even because it, uh, the Campari invented a, a different idea of aperitif, uh, happy hour, no? so the, you have the uh, the drink inside, and you can use it, and, and so on. And this is another very interesting thing related to this idea of relationable, you know, when you wine is the, maybe, yeah, uh, a, a social network for socialization, also the first social network, wine, when you want to start a conversation, you know, you, 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 you take a, a glass of wine, you know? so, and this is very interesting because you have here, uh, you know, a mechanism and uh, with the possibility to round the the cup, no, the superior cup, just with the with the with the with your thumb, not moving, but just using. No. So another way not to interpret the um, and once again relational. No? Then we have uh, livable, and livable is when when we put something. Um, that take care, you know, take care of yourself, take care of the other people and so on. Uh, sport, for instance, and all the other pro products related to the fitness, even security. You know, this is the twin gate and uh, uh, the, the name is uh, Carabiner. Um, the Carabiner for uh, uh, alpine uh, uh, sports, let's say. You know, the, the, the possibility to have two gates in order to guarantee the security. You know? And it's, it's quite impossible. Uh, open this uh, this uh, carabiner in, uh, if you don't uh, uh, don't do uh, with, with your uh, intention. No? So and this is a you know uh, a startup of two young designers uh, is uh, Meg stands for micro experimentation uh, greenhouse. This is a greenhouse uh, using light, um, a different combinations of colors to uh, cultivate different, different um, uh, plants, uh, even tropical plants, if you want. No? So just you know, deciding the right uh, balance between uh, characteristics of lights, characteristics of water, humidity, and so on. But it's also very interesting because uh, this is a, 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 an open uh, uh, innovation uh, process. Uh, uh, opening to to um, welcome the uh, suggestion coming from a community, uh, you know, sharing uh, the, 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 the possibilities to cultivate different kinds of, of products and so on. Um, this is from Vibram, you know, Vibram for the souls, you know, so they are very well known for the technology related to the transformation of rubber, no? So, and they invented this, uh, this interesting uh, 
a pair of shoes. They are in between uh, socks and shoes, let's say. The, once again, the stories, you know, the name of this, uh, of this um, pair of shoes is Furoshiki. Uh, Furoshiki comes from Japan. No, it's a piece of fabric that you bring with you if you want to put your bento inside. Uh, it, it, it's a kind of packaging system no? for, uh, you know, uh, bring with you many, many things. So the inspiration came, uh, came from, from this idea and uh, you have two legs and so the possibility to adapt to the uh, different, different uh, fit, you know, your... Uh, uh, your, your pair of shoes. Um, this is, uh, the name is uh, Skill Mill, uh, this is a trade mill, but uh, without motorization, uh, thanks uh, to the curve, uh, you can use it uh, without uh, an, uh, energy, electricity, and so on, just with your uh, um, efforts, uh, uh, with, with your uh, um, running and, and so on. Technogym is a very important company, you know, and, and in, in this case, we have a kind of design-driven innovation. What is a design-driven innovation? When you find new meanings for uh, existing products, you know? So we had a lot of trade bins, so without any kind of relationship with the, with the with humans, you no, know, with human beings, you no. Know? So in this case, this is more friendly, you no. Know? So you, you find a different friendliness in this product, and this is uh, uh, very interesting coming from the um, Institute of, uh, of Technology of uh, Genoa, so in, in Italy, with INAIL. INAIL is the uh, is, it's the institution for protecting uh, workers. Uh, um, and it's, it's quite interesting because it, this is a hand um, where um, a multidisciplinary team uh, collaborated to design this, this hand with mechanical engineers, uh, ICT engineers, uh, experts in uh, um, artificial intelligence and ergonomists and uh, even designers, you know, in order to guarantee uh, the, the, the same articulation of the real hands. Uh, to, to control the articulation of the sense thanks to impulse, electric impulse coming from the nerves of, of, the, of, the, uh, of the body of the, of the arm. So the, it's, it's, it's very interesting. And, and this is a way you know, to, to, some of them, most of them, they were protected with, the, with, the, with patents, you know, because we, we organized this with the, the office uh, for trademarks and and uh, uh, and patents of the uh, Ministry of Economical Development. The freedom to move and travel, no? Isetta. Isetta was a very interesting uh, car uh, from uh, Tiktis, uh, designed by an entrepreneur uh, close to Milan, in Brianza. It's uh, two seats, two seats. Um, you know, anticipation of the microcars no? for the city, but in Tiktis. Uh, one liter for uh, three liters for 100 kilometers, uh, monocylindric. So a lot of invention no, in this idea, with possibility to guarantee mobility for everyone, for everyone. Later on, BMW uh, bought the the license to 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 uh, make this this products. This is a very interesting you know, design by uh, Mario Brogini. And uh, there was um, a contest uh, at this, uh, in, in the selection of this uh, mythical animal. Uh, participated Gio Ponti and Mario Sironi. Mario Sironi, you know, a uh, very important artist. And they selected this, uh, this mythological animal you know, with these six legs. Uh, you know? And this is a way to represent energy power, no? so revolution of uh, 500, Fiat 500, no? so, and uh, you know, a, a product designed by uh, Dante Giacosa um, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the late 50s in order to guarantee the possibility to move no? for, for people. So this is the, uh, the selection we did uh, with the electrical uh, solution and redesign.
or some in innovation. So th this is a, um, you know, a, a kind of uh, self-driving container uh, for the last mile logistics. Uh, so the possibility to, to, to move uh, small goods uh, uh, in a very informal way. Or, please, uh, th this is another very interesting product uh, by Brembo. Mm -hmm. um, is, uh, is, is, is a way to change uh, the, the characteristics of some uh, components of, of cars, you know, so to make them icons. You know? uh, and that's part mm. uh, Corradino Dascani, the designer who invented this, uh, once again, the possibility to make people able to move. No, so at a cheaper price, so with possibility not to access to, to these specific tools. This is my, our idea, no? to create, uh, and then workable, no? to, the possibility to work uh, uh, well and in safety. And uh, my generation remember this, uh, this glue. Uh, this is a specific glue where you have a kind of uh, almond flower inside. Hmm. So, uh, you know, it is quite interesting because you have a, the experience no, of, 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 this, uh, of this glue because of the, of the smell of the glue itself. And, this, and, and you know, experience uh, is influenced by many senses, but, you know, smell is the, the most powerful one. You can forget, uh, you know, uh, what you have seen, but you don't forget uh, your... your olfactive way no? to, 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 to remember experiences and so on. And this is Coquine. Another very important project by um, Ettore Sozzas, um, the Valentine, and uh, a portable uh, typewriter yeah. in 1972. So, and this is another, another very important thing for, let's say, Italian design. Um, a kind of critical anticipation of the future. So, um, this is the anticipation of smart working. So, the possibility to bring with you everywhere you know, your typewriter. And, uh, you know, the color red is, is also a way to, to uh, let's say, telling something. There were some problems uh, for the export of these uh, typewriters in the United States because of the color. And, and Sotsas, he chose the, uh, the, the color because, you know, red is communism, red is passion. No? And there was a kind of refusal uh, coming from the United States for the import of this, of this product. Uh, Sotsas, uh, he knew very well the American situation because he was married with uh, Fernanda Pivano. And you can understand another very important thing in Italian design, the, the relationship between humanities and technique. You know? So the, the, the both sides are considered when you say something new. In uh, 2005, in Ivrea, in Olivetti, uh, there was a very important uh, institute of interaction design. And in that institute was invented the Arduino. Arduino is a motherboard with sensors, with uh, you know, open, uh, with a very simple uh, language to, to interact with, with this uh, with this model board, and uh, you have the possibility to create your own prototypes, no? and for responding to the the rays of digital transformation, no? and providing uh, you know a very smart solution to do it, and then. Uh, this is a robot by IIT, uh, Italian Institute of Technology, and but we put this robot because of the research on the on the skin of this robot. This is a 3D fabric with a very high sensitivity in order to reproduce the idea of the the human skin. Um, um, this is an acoustic uh, uh, panel. Uh, it's like a sculpture. So you, you want to provide, let's say, performances, but at the same time, you want to create something beautiful. You know? And uh, it, 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 this, uh, this product uh, 
uh, one uh, Compasso d'Oro. Compasso d'Oro is the most important award for uh, innovations in, in, the, in the world of design because of, of the modularity, the possibility to combine in different ways uh, these, uh, these characteristics. And uh, we selected uh, this coffee machine. This is a big coffee machine. And uh, this is the way to transform uh, cafeterias in bars in kind of stage for uh, drinking coffee, for making coffee. You know? so, and this is the, the main machine, let's say, you know, uh, to, to, to express the, this, uh, this, this process. Uh, you, you have these levers you know, that very, very uh, evident you know, so to, to make uh, uh, the, 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 the production of, of coffee very, very interesting. So, uh, we put all these products with, within these five categories uh, and uh, uh, with the idea to, to represent the, the characteristics of the Italian design or Italian genius you know, related to. Um, and uh, we, we have some. This is the exhibit in, in Dubai with some of the products that we selected. So. Uh, we start uh, the conversation uh, between uh, Professor Zurlo and uh, Smago and uh, Mateusz, uh, I think. Well, we have so many topics, uh, so many inspirations for this uh, conversation. I think, uh, Smago, I've seen, Smago, you noted some things. <laughs> it's such a big pleasure to have you all here and to be able to sit here again, after two years, actually. Um, I'm happy to be, to have you, Stefano, here, and Mr. Paolo, and of course, everyone. Um, um, and of course, uh, when listening to you, uh, I would say that um, I'm happy that Italian Design Day, which we are proud to be part of, actually to be part of this session, is talking about a regeneration. It's something new for us. Why? Because in the previous Italian Design Day, I mentioned, or I tried to be creative and talking about a renaissance. And it's a regeneration is an alternative meaning, it's more sustainable in a way. Why? Because a re regeneration is very close to the region which we are very often talk about. We are talking about a region of Southeast Europe. And we say it's the most creative region in the world. And your <laughs> strategic point of view, how you separate things, it's really fantastic and, and it gives a big perspective and I think it's a big innovation actually, a soft one, talking about apart from user to persona. It, it's a great thing, but I cannot skip the, the a question first for you uh, when uh, the, the times which are, which we're living in, uh, you know, we were we, we read the book Homo Deus, maybe you, you heard about, and uh, uh, now we are talking about Homo Fabulous, right? That it's very important. And when um, um, talking about the future, I'm wondering what kind of world we're living in today at all. It's, it's a very general question because uh, in your previous talks, I follow a little bit uh, on the internet, on YouTube, you, 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 you talk, and, and even you, in, in your uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation, I found it. Um, um, design is enhancing abilities to freedom and uh, a choice of action. And, but the question, and I will stop it, is that um, do you think that too much freedom and the choice, which are the two very important um, things in our lives coming in front of everything, are also bringing 
more confusion in our lives. Uh, it's a uh, let's, uh, 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 one million question. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a very complicated. Um, but um, you know, um, the, the, the freedom is uh, to express your abilities, not to create new products or new services, not because of the limits, no, of, of, the, of the planet. So we need to reduce. Maybe we need to give more meaning, so more sense to existing products or new products, no? in order to uh, guarantee the durability of these products, so in order to start a, a kind of relationship with these products. So, you know, um, in, uh, in, uh, in Italy, we have a very interesting author, Italo Calvino. No? He used to say that humans are not just humans, but humans plus uh, objects. No? So this is a kind of uh, extension of our um, intellectual um, soul, let's say. Our soul is extended in the products. But maybe we need maybe less products, but more meaningful for us. And the, the, when, when we stress this idea of persona, we were thinking about how to reduce but in a way, uh, how to make these new solutions, new products, new services more meaningful no? for, 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 for us. And anyway, we need to find a trade-off no? so between this, uh, uh, the, the, this infinite uh, you know, creation of desires and uh, the, the limits coming from the planet. I found about desires, you know, so because you know when we talk about people, we are talking about desires. I, I found a very interesting inspiration coming from a theolo theologist, an Italian theologist, um, describing not uh, you know a very huge set of desires, but just one inspiration, unifying desires. And this inspiration uh, is uh, taking care. It's related to the idea of taking care. So I really appreciated this idea. No? So no more a lot of desires, but just uh, a kind of inspirational principle that make desire just one and you know, putting the taking care as the, as, at the center. No? And when you take care, Maybe you, you can um, you know you can dedicate yourself to others. Uh, in, in the latest years, we are we are stressing this idea of design for social innovation. You know how to support communities. Um, maybe you can create. We are the second <coughs> manufacturing uh, country uh, in Europe. You no, know? so we we cannot. Uh, and let's say stop the, the manufacturing process, but maybe you can uh, design products where you know uh, people take care, no, and to expand their durability. And um, a product like this, and also this kettle, is a product to, to take care. No? So it's a product to start a conversation. You know that uh, sometimes mm -hmm. innovation is related to talkability. No? So how to able uh, talking, no? thanks to the characteristics of the products, and you want to respect products like this, no? because of the, uh, the their essence. No? And so I think that if we think about the, this idea of taking care, and then we uh, design uh, products uh, respecting this idea of taking care, maybe something is going to change. Even if we are living in dark times, and also because of the war because of you know, the, the, the limits uh, coming from uh, environmental changes uh, and, and so on. Another very important thing is also related to um, you know, uh, the, the modernism uh, stressed the idea of um, desires, infinite desires, and so uh, a race of uh, 
of products and amount of products and services. No? So the quantitative side, let's say. But uh, you have even another way not to, to uh, read the evolution and the flourishing, the human flourishing. No? So we have seen Amartya Sen, no? this idea of well-being at the center. But even another, another way to interpret uh, the uh, economic evolution related to the idea of beauty. No? Beauty as a purpose uh, for uh, uh, the economical development. And when you refer to beauty, you leave the quantitative side of the uh, economical development. And, uh, you know, you, you adopt uh, a qualitative side of economical development. And as, as Italians, uh, as, uh, you know, Italian industries, uh, maybe this is already um, part of the DNA of companies. Mm -hmm. Not Definitely, so yes. Mm -hmm. from quantitative to qualitative where beauty becomes the purpose mm -hmm. of the, you know, uh, mm -hmm. today we, we talk a lot about this idea of economy of purpose, no? so mm -hmm. a way to motivate organizations, communities and so on. Beauty is a powerful sense-making uh, uh, trigger. No? Uh, to, to, but this is what we are uh, famous in the world for, no? Yes. Design is one of the leading uh, aspect of our economy but i think that you are totally right we if you consider that uh, uh, i think that 46 percent of our export is uh, going outside the european union because among the european union we are almost in an internal market now so we all know more or less uh, who is doing what and uh, there's a lot of similarity among the european market but uh, 46% of our export going around the world to Far East, to North America. It means that we are bringing beauty and we are bringing sometimes, uh, I would say, a kind of awe. Now, uh, uh, in front of objects, for example, like this kettle that you showed us, that is so simple, but so pure now in, uh, in the shape that it's really something that you... Uh, cannot avoid but admire and so uh, so on so um, I think that uh, this is also I don't know I think that everybody has been uh, studying and wondering uh, what is the peculiar quality of uh, of our artists or designers of, uh, and uh, as Mago were saying before was saying before the all Southeast uh, uh, Europe area is very creative now, and uh, we are there's always a big of exchange among uh, one country or another, and a lot of contribution coming uh, uh, from uh, from other countries. And uh, mm, I think that one uh, everybody agrees that one of our peculiar uh, traits in uh, in uh, in Italian um, production of a certain kind is that. Uh, uh, the, 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 the districts, what we call the industrial districts. This is uh, also common in other countries, maybe around uh, the, the famous Southeast uh, Europe, but in Italy it's uh, coming from the Middle Ages now, so these uh, areas uh, that where people specifically dedicate um, and, and goes on with traditions. Uh, um, of course, nowadays it's very everything is so complicated. We have uh, uh, a lot of problems also in the, uh, for example, design furniture. Our industry, as you were saying, we are uh, second in Europe and uh, among probably the first, what, four or five countries in the world uh, for production and export. But the problems nowadays are uh, um, coming from uh, uh, the rising cost of energy, and uh, a lot of difficulty in the supply chain and uh, also uh, raw materials, wood and uh, transport. So this is uh, uh, something that uh, is, uh, is putting a risk uh, at this um, system that it's very, you know, it was working very well. Uh, before this latest week and or this beginning of the year, we had uh, uh, I think in 2021 uh, we had a plus uh, uh, 
20% uh, rising of uh, the um, production uh, compared to the previous year. And uh, uh, also we, we uh, overcame the um, production of uh, the pre-COVID year. So it was, you know, uh, everything was working very well. Even with Slovenia, we are traditionally the second partner and, uh, and uh, um, also our export to Slovenia was uh, um, recuperating very well. We had the plus 40% uh, last year over 2020 and the plus 55% over uh, 2019. Now, so this is, I think it's very interesting. And um, I, at this point, I would also like uh, to, to ask a disregard to Mr. Francic, uh, who is hosting us today in this beautiful showroom, uh, I did a that is, uh, you know, um, showing uh, so many uh, iconic Italian uh, products. Uh, if you, as an expert of the sector, I know that this is, uh, you are celebrating the 20th anniversary, the 20th anniversary of is, your uh, yes. uh, activity here and of uh, uh, bringing uh, Italian uh, uh, designers uh, products uh, to to the Slovenian market. Did you have the same impression that, for example, export uh, during the COVID uh, was uh, um, growing? Uh, or what is your... Uh, uh, consideration of uh, the COVID experience, uh, the pandemic, uh, was this uh, uh, affecting uh, uh, the trade, uh, affecting the uh, families' uh, consumptions or uh, sales? Well, sure. firstly, thank you for this very beautiful and interesting insight in the Italian design. And uh, yeah, I must definitely confirm what uh, we were discussing previously. Um, firstly, there was a certain fear of what, what is going to happen with the, with, with the sales during the pandemics, but then um, we noticed a growth um, in interest in, 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 well, we are working with, with a specific area of design. It's related to furniture, home, objects, accessories. We, we noticed a, a growth of interest in uh, the use of in, uh, in the use of uh, personal of, because this exactly. relates i think it's also interesting because this relates also to the concept that professor zurlo was expressing in the beginning of uh, his conversation on this uh, um, persona and the, the the person and people that are at the center of the of the objects around and objects that are functional to 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 the person and to the personal use so um, COVID, the, the pandemic was such a disruption for everybody, unexpected. There must have been something in the use of also the objects at home, because we were using home much more. Well, I think. maybe after a long time, we finally took time to leave. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. To leave our, our our home and our and, and reality the and the objects yeah. around yeah. us. Yeah. So you also noticed that there was yeah, a, definitely. an definitely. increased... Uh, in this, uh, uh, because we were, uh, this is very, very, very funny. We were uh, breaking down uh, the uh, uh, different categories now of uh, design furniture. Uh, um, this is our job as Italian trade agency. We also take care of all the statistics and all the, you know, uh, flow of uh, uh, economic uh, exchange, uh, and we noticed uh, that uh, between 2020 and 2021, uh, this kind of upholstery was uh, the one that was uh, more exported around in Slovenia, but not only, uh, not only to this country, and um, and so probably because uh, I don't know there was. Uh, you have also to consider that we had a very long uh, period of lockdown, months and months of lockdown, so everything was closed. We couldn't go everywhere. There was nothing around to do, so everybody was spending much more time at home and maybe your considering sofa. the, yes, on your sofa, and so that was the moment to say, oh, maybe I should change my sofa because uh, this is the good time. I have time also to, to, to look around and to choose something interesting. And uh, Let me say, it's also 
when you take care, you need time. And during the lockdown, we had a lot of time. Lot of time. And this is the, the reason why yes. well, many, many people decided to change their homes to make their, their houses more comfortable, yeah. so, and so to, to change. Yeah. Uh, you, you had a very interesting phenomenon because uh, all the uh, furniture companies, they raised the, the turnover in 2020 and 21. Also, be, because of this different interest for, uh, for uh, furnishing, you know, the, your, your, your nest, let's say. You had even some phenomenon like the uh, uh, hybrid working, uh, so the possibility, smart working, agile working, working in your house, so the possibility to adapt, you know, uh, a corner of your house uh, for uh, connecting uh, with, with, with other people. Anyway, taking care needs time. Yeah. Francesco, um, obviously you have uh, told us that uh, Beauty is something uh, really at the center of the Italian design attitude. I mean, of the attitude Italian designers have. And this was the topic uh, of another lecture you had uh, in the first part of the current month uh, at uh, Accademia Zaricono Metno Astino Blicovani in Ljubljana. And you can watch uh, the video of this lecture on the Alvo's uh, uh, YouTube channel. And uh, well, um, you said, you, all of you said that uh, when you are at home uh, with the pandemic, you have to stay at home, you may like to be surrounded by uh, beautiful objects. Uh, but uh, relating to design, I, I, what's the, let's say, the match and also the struggle between functionalism, because uh, all the uh, 20th century uh, history of architecture and design has been uh, uh, strongly influenced by functionalism and uh, the research, the search for uh, beauty, you know, and uh, the influence also of futurism and abstract art. Uh, you mentioned, uh, for example, Fortunato de Pero, an outstanding uh, representative of futurism, uh, but also Bruno Munari, uh, who was one of the leading artists uh, in uh, the Italian uh, the, um, uh, abstract art uh, in the period during the two world uh, wars. And so what's the match between these two things uh, in uh, Italian design? And what's the, also the compromise between uh, these two um, forces that can play together, but also can uh, um, go um, to dif in, into different directions. Once we we uh, we had a, um, a kind of applied research for a, a big corporation coming from Japan, uh, big corporation making everything, so from uh, uh, whole houses uh, to electronic switches and, and so on. And, uh, you know, they asked us, you know, so why uh, Italian is so uh, close to beauty, you know? And, and so we, 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 we found some, let's say, justifications about, about the, this, this, uh, um, this specific talent, you know? So um, the, 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 first, uh, the first reason is, is because in Italy you, you find the 50% of the UNESCO heritage. You know? So if you live in cities like Rome, like Florence, like Siena, like Turin, and Milan, maybe, you know? so you are influenced by the, by the environment. You know? so, and they were not uh, you know, uh, able to understand this, this idea. No? Uh, they, 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 uh, they say, but why the uh, Shura Maria, so the, 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 the last lady uh, in a small uh, village, uh, design, no, design, so furnish the house 
uh, with with this this talent and uh, you know taking care of the the, the 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 composition the harmony no among all the objects uh, and the finishing the the the, the, the way you, you create your your house no why no because this uh, exposition let's say no exposition to beauty and that that could be a, a, a first uh, reason why no but we have even some other um, some other possibilities to explain this. No? So, uh, in, for, for this the Japanese corporation, I, I, I showed some electronic products, electric products, like the, the TV set in front of us, no? so, uh, designed by Marco Zanuso, and some products coming from Germany. And you, you see the difference, no? so I'm, I'm stressed this idea. This is a, an object uh, to use. And this is an object to live. So this is the difference. No? So um, um, we design, let's say, lifewear products. No? Lifewear products is a, a very evocative uh, uh, word. No? So products that are with, within our lives. No? So that they provide uh, new meanings no? to, to, to our life. And this is also uh, very important from a scientific point of view because you know, um, a, a very uh, good uh, uh, friend of mine, uh, Roberto Verganti, who is a, a professor of management engineering in, in the School of, uh, of Engineering at Politecnico di Milano, he is an expert on innovation management. So far from design, he became an international star. Uh, you know, teaching in Harvard, uh, uh, and publishing for MIT Press and so on, describing the Italian design phenomenon. And, you know, differentiating uh, from other um, theoretical frameworks to interpret uh, innovation processes. You know, usually um, uh, you, you have the technology push framework, you know? so where you have technicians doing research on research, but without meanings, no? So without finding meanings, no? For what they are doing, no? Uh, a few years ago, we designed um, an electric uh, razor for uh, Panasonic and uh, redesigning the shape, no? So providing a, a different meaning, no? To, to these products. And the technicians of Panasonic, they were exploring the possibility to put together seven blades seven blades so without sense no you know uh, men they know that it's, it's enough just one blade three blades okay but seven blades this is what we call technology push it's for marketing to say but, i don't know yeah blades. for marketing but even because they they want to explore the uh, let's say the limits you know of some specific uh, technologies you no know? so in that in that specific case you know uh, metallurgic uh, uh, features, you know, so how to reduce the, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the miniaturized, let's say, these these blades, and then you have the the other the other approach, you know, the market pool approach, you know, that yeah. just following what the, the people ask. Uh, but if you ask people, they don't know exactly, you know, what they they could uh, use it uh, because this is typical. Of, uh, humans, no? so we, we need to relate to something that we already know, no? to, to make sense. No? To previous experiences. To previous yeah. experiences. No? So, and market pool is, is about this. No? And then you have something in between no? that's design-driven innovation. My, my friend Verganti became very famous uh, in, in the arena of management thanks to this intuition. In, it, in, in, uh, um, in Italy, you have a lot of companies, uh, most of them coming from uh, furniture or, you know, collateral uh, industries, but, you know, related to the lightwear products, that instead of, you know, following the market or instead of, you know, pushing technologies, they find, they, they try to find new meanings for existing or emerging technologies, new meanings. When, when we face this, this idea of meaning, so we are adopting uh, the storytelling approach. So the, the, the need for 
narratives, no? so uh, objects there to uh, tell stories. No? And uh, meanings, they make uh, uh, technologies um, closer no? to, to the real life of people. And this is a, a peculiarity of uh, the innovation management uh, uh, discipline uh, uh, at the uh, worldwide level. No? So uh, we are very uh, well known for this way to interpret uh, the, uh, the innovation in design. No? So sustainability has also a beauty dimension, we could say, because nature is also beautiful. And uh, by uh, preserving nature, we try also to preserve the beauty of nature with beautiful things we produce uh, to, to live our lives. We, uh, we are living the idea that sustainability is something severe, uh, dusty, no? Uh, and uh, we need to adopt another narrative for sustainability. Another pattern. Yeah, yeah, another pattern of yeah. what you said, a narrative, yeah. a so, change narrative of sustainability. So, uh, thank you so much for this wonderful conversation. Thank you, Francesco, for being here with us. Thank you, Smago, for your insights and your inspiring questions. Uh, thank you, Mateusz, and thank you, um, Serenella, for uh, this um, way you have stressed also the economic uh, um, aspect of design uh, to have a comprehensive uh, portrait uh, of Italian design today. And clearly thank you to uh, Mr. Carlo Campanile, the ambassador of Italy uh, to Slovenia. Um, thank you so much all of you for following this event uh, and see you again at the events of the Italian Cultural Institute. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you so much.